Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Briley and I really like crocheting and I thought I'd make a YouTube channel to talk about my crochet for market preps, custom orders, and to make my own creations just for fun. I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel at some point and I wanted to do it with something I really liked and crocheting is one of them. I just really love making little plushies. It's just really fun to make them, see the creations when they're done. In one week, I have my first market, December 9th on a Saturday, Southeast San Antonio. It's called the Holiday Market. This market is going to be from 12 to 5 p.m. There's going to be a DJ there, and then there's gonna be live music later on. So I look forward to seeing how many people are gonna be there. I assume there's gonna be a lot of kids, because Santa's also gonna be there for pictures. So I think it's gonna be a really fun event, so I'm really excited for it. It's going to show some of the different market preps that I have for some of the animals or different things. Some of the animals and creations that are more Christmas-like, since this is a December market, I've created some, so I'm gonna show a couple of how I make them in a kind of a time lapse to see how long everything takes so you can see how in-depth it is. But I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my first one, so I'm learning. <laughs> but besides that, I hope you enjoy my crochet creation, cozy crochet corner, my Instagram, and my Etsy shop, except my Etsy shop has my initials BP at the end, so it's cozy crochet corner BP. And besides that, I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
December 4th. I have about five days till my first market, but there's still, I guess, somewhat a lot of things I need to do, but not really. One, there's a few more items that I would like to crochet and add to my booth. Additional things. For the most part, my booth setup, I just did a mock setup yesterday. I know where everything's going to go, so there's a few places I want to add a couple more things. I have five days to do that, so essentially I want to make a couple of axolotls. A lot of people say that's a big seller, so I'm going to make different colors. I've already made three mini dinos. I need to make a couple more. Today I'm going to do a purple axolotl. A dino, I think I'll probably do a green dino because I already have blue, pink, purple. So I'll do a green mini dino, and I have a big dino on my table, so I'm gonna have the mini ones on top of it. And besides that, I think that'll be it today. It'll be an actual model and then a couple of mini dinos. And my business cards are coming in Wednesday. So excited. I created them on Canva, which wasn't really that hard to do. I just did a free trial for a month. You can cancel it, or you can keep it and have a monthly thing. I just decided to make everything that I wanted on Canva first. From there, I was uh, able to print out cards. It really wasn't expensive. I think I printed 200 cards for like $36 and I got free shipping, but also I chose like the 7 to 14 day shipping. And if it comes this Wednesday, that should only be a week and a half. So it didn't take the full two weeks, which I'm really happy about since my market is this upcoming up Saturday. Other than that, I'm really prepared for this first market. I don't know what to expect but I'm trying to bring as much merchandise as possible so I can really target any sort of audience. And I'm really gonna have my prices vary from two to $5 to a $100 item. Now, I don't think someone's gonna buy the $100 item, but I never know. Other than that, I'm on track with everything that I need to do. I'm gonna show a couple time lapses of me making a couple of the items, see what they look like when they're finally done. And yeah, so enjoy watching.
So today is December 6th. I have three more days to my market. My business cards came in. First, we have our cards from Canva. I ordered about 200 for 36 dollars for free shipping, so that was good. Ooh, nice little box opening. Wow. Here's the front. <laughs> These are good quality too. But that's because I got paper mats, so I got a better quality than, I didn't get the cheapest one, but I also didn't get the most expensive one. Also, I have a couple things I ordered from Amazon for my market this Sunday. A few last minute things that I didn't have that I knew I could get in a day. Here we go, we got rope for a banner because uh, it might be a little windy in the afternoon since it's December here. So I need something to hold up. I was gonna use my yarn, but I figured that's probably not a good idea in case it starts to get windy. Oh, and my chalk markers. Has a combination lock and key lock. So if I if I have to use coins, I doubt anybody will be using coins because I'm gonna have contactless payment as well as any sort of thing to scan. But if you do use cash, I have a little box for it. Last one. I oh, know this one's this. It's my chalkboard. Put my chalkboard in. I got this nine by fourteen inch chalkboard. Dun, 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 dun. And it's got a little stand, so then it's kicked back. But this is a big board. I want to do this so I can put multiple things on here rather than make multiple signs of paper and put it in the plastic holding because I thought why not just get a big sign and my markers here only one millimeter in size it's a lot easier to write more things on here which I would rather do than buy 500 little signs so yeah so while I was off camera I made a couple more things for my booth so I made as y'all saw the purple axolotl and so I have a green outside me a little green one green dark green I guess it's more of like a St. Patrick's Day, but I guess you could say it's Christmas green. But a green axolotl, a purple one, and then I'm currently also making a blue one. I don't like to put my eyes in during the pattern. I know it looks kind of weird, but it's just a lot quicker if I crochet the entire body, sew it up, because then I just hot glue the eyes after the fact. I like to hot glue the eyes in so I don't have to worry about counting how many rows, and I just look at which is better. Some people say put the this many amount of stitches apart. To me, I feel like it depends on the item itself. So I usually like to wait till afterwards and then I'll decide if I wanna sew a face or not. But on top of the green, since I already have these two colors out, I also made, uh, I made the light green dino. So I made a little dark version. So cute. So I now have, I think, five different dinos. Pink, purple, purple, pink these two versions of green, two versions of blue. So I have six, but one of them wasn't as big because of the, I was using this, which is like thinner yarn comparative to the blue yarn is like a little bit thicker. That will change the size of the dino is the size of your yarn. So I usually like to go with um, chunky yarn, which is usually size six. If you're ever looking online or if you're in the store, it's usually size six. It's not jumbo, but that seven is the one before that. I think it's called, oh, I guess it's right here, super bulky. And then I buy a pack of like 120 12 millimeter safety eyes. That's probably the ones I use the most, but that's because most of my items that are smaller about this size work with 12 millimeter. And then for my normal bigger items, I'll have 15 millimeter. 
I usually get this from Hobby Lobby. I haven't found any craft like safety knives at Michael's, but at Hobby Lobby they do for sure. Currently making this, I just have to make the fans and then hot glue the eyes and sew the face on. I need to set up my inventory onto Square so then when I get to the market, everything's all in inventory so I don't have to worry about typing all the numbers in. Yeah, as of right now, I just like that my business cards came in and everything else from my market came in. So all I have to do is pack everything in my car and then get everything ready. So I'm back with market results here. Now it's been about probably a week. I know, pretty bad, but I ended up getting sick after the market because I was already starting to get that way. And I was running on four hours of sleep and I swear I went through all four seasons within the span of eight hours, going from like 60 degree mist haze to humid 80 degrees on December. Why? I don't know. But overall, I wanted to just talk about my first market. It was a neighborhood market, so traffic wasn't super heavy, but there was still a good amount of people there, considering the weather really scared people off because it was really gross weather and it was very like up and down. So I think a lot of people were unsure if they should just stay inside or go outdoors. I'll talk about some of my best sellers. I'm gonna put a picture on the right side here of what the product looks like. In case y'all like the product and there's any extra left, they're gonna be put onto my Etsy shop, so you're more than welcome to go get any from there. So my top sellers here, mini dinos. I sold four out of the six of them. I sold a pink one, a purple one, no, a pink one, a blue one, and two versions of green. The next thing that I sold most of, which I made up for ta table decoration, and I made snowballs. I had one for two or three for five dollars. So I sold 13 out of the 15 snowballs. Most people bought the group of three. Someone bought a group of six, so I thought that was funny. Ducklings and mama duck. So I sold one mama duck, which I only had one of, and then I made three ducklings for her, and I sold two of the three ducklings. Last thing I guess I would say that I did well on were my gingerbread men. I only made four of them, but they were pretty big, uh, but I sold two of them. So I was really happy that people really liked the gingerbread man. I also sold, I made chili peppers. I only made 10 of them because I didn't know how well they were gonna do, and I sold three of the 10, so I guess it's not technically bad. It was only $5, too. Out of my four snowmen, I sold one of my snowmen, and the good thing about that is the beanie and the scarf came off, so I told people, like, if you wanna take them off or put them on, like, that's totally up to you. I thought axolotls were gonna be a big hit. I only made four as a just-in-case, but I only sold one of them, which was the pink one. But hey, someone at least bought them. A lot of kids liked them to see it, but they were like, hmm. I don't know if I want to buy that though. I sold one turtle, but I only made one. Bees, I made a lot of bees. I made 18 bees total. I guess not including the jumbo. I made four jumbo bees. None of my jumbo bees sold, which I was really sad about. And then I made a smaller bee, which was, I sold two of those out of the 10. And then I made mini bees. I only sold one of those, but I only made eight of them as well. I made 12 baby chickens. I made a lot of these back in the summer, but still, I only, I only sold one. I was really sad about that. They were super cute. A lot of kids picked them up too. Once again, they really liked them. They were 15 and I changed them to 12 and then someone bought one at 12. So maybe I need to change them to like 12 or 10, but I really thought they were super cute. And then the last thing I made 10 baby chicks. And once again, everyone loved the baby chicks. They thought they were so cute. And those were only $8 but I only got one person to sell that or one person to buy it. I think the thing I'm shocked about most is those popular chickens that are happening right now. None 
of my chicken sold. How many people were talking chicken, chicken, chicken? So I was like, well, obviously I gotta make a ton of chickens. I probably made, how many chickens did I make? I made 12 chickens. And none of my chickens sold. I now have a nice little flock of chickens to keep, or if any of y'all want the chickens, feel free. The most important part, which most people care about anyway, understandable, how much money did I make? From cash alone, that was my biggest one, which I thought was gonna be square, but for this mark in particular, it was cash. I made 147, cash up, $76, Apple Pay, $28, square, 115. If I take off the booth fee, which booth fee was only 25 bucks, I made, $341! Woo! Overall, I'm really happy about that number. Some people might think like, you had $1,700 worth. Why aren't you happy? Like, why are you happy about $341? Well, because it's $341. And in this economy right now, any sort of money is very bueno and very good to have. Considering I'm still finishing up college i said i'd be happy for 100 bucks and the fact that i got 341 it was a neighborhood market my first market i'm super happy about it i was more excited about people excited to see my products i was really happy when people were like oh it's so soft or it's so plushy i enjoyed seeing people smile and finding joy in my product because that's the whole point of like my brand being called cozy crochet corner i want i mean i guess it's funny i'm kind of in a corner right now in the closet i want my products to be cozy and soft which is why as you can see most of this yarn back here is like the very soft yarn just because i love how it feels and especially because like a lot of people now are very sensory orientated big word that <laughs> they would like the softer yarn better and plus it just feels nice to touch and it's more quality yarn that's another reason why i price my items i do but for the people who know if you work with yarn you know the type of yarn that's like quality yarn there's like a complete difference i plan on doing more markets this upcoming year in 2024 as well as increasing my shop more often and i want to make more videos to not only track my progress but to share my progress with y'all because i think this is such a great platform to show if anyone else is crocheting or they're thinking i don't know if i should sell my things why not you can make an etsy shop it's super easy start practicing by making stuff if y'all have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer any question you might have, whether that be about crochet, a market, or I guess even YouTube here, but to be fair, I'm just now starting, so I probably would not ask me any questions related to that. That's me for this video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Also leave a comment if you wanna leave a comment, and if you would like to subscribe, Thank you. Hope you have a good morning, evening, afternoon, or night for whenever you're watching this. And as always, or I guess this is for the first time, deuces. What's the point of this clicker? It's connected to my phone. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay.